14 years ago, I'm thinking, I got a check for $2 million made out to me, and it's in my back pocket. Maybe I should just head on to South America and have a good time. <laughs> There were a total of 19 uh, people in on the tickets. Uh, it's a ticket that I've always put together for the crew. Uh, we were all at dinner on a Thursday night before where you pass the sheet around and have everybody uh, sign their name and decide, you know, do you want $5, $10? Make all of my bets uh, at the beginning of the day, as soon as the windows open, shortly after 11 a.m. Uh, working all day, you know, you, you put all those tickets together the night before, you go to the window, and you don't really have another opportunity to get in and make any additional wagers. We were down on the track, you know, working every race of the Breeders' Cup. You go right from the, from the paddock to the track side, winter circle, post-race interviews, and you're back to the paddock again, so it's non-stop. You know, you're at the Breeders' Cup and you're watching the workouts and this colt comes by every single morning and he just seemed to flourish. As I've told many times, I give the credit to Cat Thief to my brother. I take credit for five selections. I would not have played Cat Thief had I not talked to him the night before. So I had no idea until the uh, Cat Thief hit the wire and my sound man, uh, Alex Moore, whispered in my ear that there was one ticket and it was worth uh, $3 million. And I said, uh, you got to focus your eyes. There must be 11 tickets worth 300000 So I had, I know, at least three other tax tickets myself besides the pick six. And uh, Gulfstream had agreed that, uh, that they would not put the taxes all on mine for the pick six ticket. But the other tickets I was all responsible for and had almost uh, $9,000 in uh, tickets myself, in which I took mostly in cash. And uh, yes, I did tip the mutual clerk very nicely there, as well as security guard, uh, who, who helped me get up to the press box and also to help me back out to the car. There was a lot of people on our news crew team that did not get in on the ticket. Um, and, I, and I personally tipped each of them a $100 bill just to, to get them involved with it. So just, you just want to, you know, the entire room, we had probably 25 people on the crew and uh, probably only uh, eight or nine of them in the, uh, in the ticket itself. The Gulfstream Park scent was a banner that had hung at the, at the track uh, that whole weekend. When, when I get an opportunity to, to enjoy a day at the racers, to go to another racetrack, I'm going to have something on every race. I'm, I just like to play the game. I'm not going to just sit there and concentrate on one horse, one race. And, but I want to I be, I get action in every, in every race that you're in, and that's part of Part of the enjoyment of going to the races is, is having that action. So, yeah, I play them all. You know, you, they break two horses from a gate. I'm going to bet on one of them. You're not going to answer, and you shouldn't have to. I did this once with one of my big scores, and my big score is like to you, forget you, nothing, nothing. But spread the cash out on the bed. A little of this, a little of this, GD. Ah, that feels good. Did you roll around in the cash at all? Huh? I would have done, I've done it. Not I would have done it, I did it. I did it once. Hundreds on the bed. You know what I'm saying? It was good. It was good, GD. Did I roll in the cash? I'm not even gonna respond to that, Ernie. I do not put it on the bed and roll in the cash. You are nuts. You are nuts, Ernie, you're nuts.